The Vatican will be hosting experts from around the world this fall to look at religious education for all people, including those with disabilities. It's part of the new evangelization, spreading the gospel far and wide. Monsignor Gino Silva is from the Pontifical Council for Promoting the New Evangelization. That's the group that's organizing the meeting. He joins us now from Rome. Monsignor, what will you be working on during the conference? Well, this is a very important conference for us as a Pontifical Council. Since the transfer of the competence of catechesis was given over to us in 2013, we've been working hard to learn how to really promote the mission of catechesis throughout the church. And during the Jubilee of Mercy, during the Jubilee of Persons with Disabilities, it really came forth from that event the importance of, of helping the church understand how we can bring the catechetical mission to those with disabilities. For catechesis is the echo of the Word of God. So how do we do that? How do we bring that echo of the Word of God to people with cognitive, emotional, physical disabilities? And this gathering of, of, of professionals and, and experts from all over the world will be able to share with us how we can best do this as a church. Well, let's flesh that out a little bit more, Monsignor. How do you think the church can teach the faith to people with disabilities? What tips, what, what suggestions have you learned so far? Well, what we've done is in meeting with people to help organize the event, what we're hoping to do is, first of all, bring together all the resources that there are for catechesis of people, towards people with disabilities that maybe people around the world don't know even exist. Yet how is it that by bringing people together, bringing these experts together in sharing of best practices, they can inspire each other and one another into how to move forward with this essential mission of the church. Sure, awareness is so key. What do you think is the role of the Christian community in helping integrate people with special needs into the life of the church? Well, what is so important for us, and again, this, this conference, which is really going to be limited to about 450 people coming from around the world, what's gonna be so important for us to remember is that the departure for all the presentations will be the catechism of the Catholic Church itself how each person's made the image and likeness of God, how we understand Christian sacraments and prayer. And yet the Catholic Church, we have a responsibility to take into account the special needs of each person for every woman and man, no matter what disability, of course, is made in the image and likeness of God. And so how is it that we can then create catechetical tools and instruments that can help bring the Word of God, the teachings of the faith, to people with disabilities and therefore help them have an encounter with the one who is loved, Jesus Christ. Sounds like such an important ministry and obviously this conference has the potential to be very fruitful. Monsignor Gino Silva, Pontifical Council for Promoting the New Evangelization, thanks so much for talking with us about it. Well, thank you very much for having me on.